Generic greetings and welcome to Foundation. Today's beverage is... Fairly terrible in almost every way. It's own brand cola, which is not only slightly warm, it's also completely flat. So, basically all of the worst things in one jug. Hmm. And uh, it was also the back of the cupboard that I didn't realise I had it. So, uh, to be honest, well, I realised I had the cupboard, just not the beverage, you understand. Uh, so it's probably out of date, but um, hey-ho, we'll struggle on. So, Foundation is a city-building game, but it does a couple of things differently to a lot of others, in that it's a lot more organic and a lot more dynamic in certain ways, such as how... Um, like the the paths are generated, how housing is done, and also you have this sort of modular building where a church isn't just this one stock looking thing, you can build it yourself and that changes the, the look and the cost and other stats and things like that. So I'll show you a little bit of the game and um, obviously links in the description if you want to check it out yourself. It is still in development so please bear that in mind and also this is only a first impressions. I've only played about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, so um, I haven't got to anything what can be considered to be sort of mid to end game. So we start off by picking our starting location and this will uh, determine where we can build in so this hex here so we'll select that and then it's free to start with and then we need to place we need to place our village center which I'm gonna place about there and then you can see we get all of these lovely people so what are we gonna do and well we need to start gathering some resources in order to build things so I am going to go and say for example well actually quick run down the UI top left we got um, for whatever reason FPS we've got information for the village as well as warning window it's currently all good so that's a fine we also have our overall objective which serves as a sort of tutorial for whatever for what it is we've got like resource panels and more resources up here. These are like Labour Kingdom and uh, Clergy Unlocks which you get points as you progress on. Some building options and territory options on the right hand side there. Bottom left you got time controls and overlays and um, that's pretty much it. So let's go over to build public buildings and we will place things like a lumber camp which allows us well to gather wood obviously and we'll place it um it doesn't really matter too much you can see there's two little green arrows there and that's basically um for where they're going to stand and work we'll place that there and what we'll also do is place a i think we'll have a stone cutter camp in as well and we'll place that roughly in the same area about um there should be should be fine and these people will not build it because we haven't assigned them to those jobs so we will set one and two people as a builder and now they will crack on we also want a well which we will place um probably probably near the center so i think there is acceptable and we'll also place a gathering hut which will again rotate round and we'll place it next to the berries about there and that should again be acceptable and then what will happen is the people will go and crack on and build that so that's our very 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 early start now what you might notice is we've got this um bit here where the grass has started to become trampled it's a little bit lower than the other stuff and also it's um you can see it's like got a like a bit of a bit of a drab color to it there and that's because the pathways are just generated by people basically walking back and forward and you can see like the, the trail behind them there so places that are more well traveled it will um it will change that up so that's sort of <laughs> that's just how it is so what i need to do now is select a couple of the people and i will say woodcutter and woodcutter now there's a little uh, bit of well there's some color here that's that little uh, square there in blue that denotes that they need to have something set so if we go over to a paint development zones we can say extraction zones and this is basically telling the game right you are allowed to extract resources from these points and I'm basically going to go all around here and up to the back there so I'm allowing them to clear out all of this here and this comes into play later on because deforestation can be a problem but you can clear stuff so what will happen is you'll say set all of this going and say right you are allowed to build around here but once it's let you see the trees are falling there once it's cleared you might then say clear all that blue zone off and say right now we want this to be refilled you've also got um, things like uh, forbidden land and um, housing as well later on because that's how, how housing is developed um but yeah that's uh that's us so what we need to do now is select some more people and we'll say uh stone cutter actually not stone cutter it would be um no, it would be stone cutter. My mistake. Stone cutter, and also a stone cutter. And again, these people are then going to go here and then start to gather those resources. Oh, these are all basic resources. You do have intermediary ones as well, where you have um, uh, like planks. Obviously, you first get the timber and then you turn it into planks. Same for um, the, some of the other stuff as well. So this here, you can see it's construction site. It produces two berries and it takes ten wood. So we're just waiting for that to be produced. You can see we've got this like saw on there. Um, the depth of field is quite aggressive at times. Um, it is on to, I think everything is set to max, but if we zoom into there, um, you'll not, you might notice some popping. Um, 
No, see, it's looking over there fine. But uh, now and again, yeah, you can... There's like, there we go. Whoa! <laughs> Interesting. Anyway, so that's cracking on. You can see our objective at the moment is to raise our villagers to status commoner. Well, that's the least amount of their problems, because at the moment, I think they're just... I think they're just... Are this just serfs? Uh, I'm not too sure. Either way, uh, they've got nowhere to sleep, uh, or well, they can't even drink anything yet, because as you can see, it provides water to villagers. Well, we've only got one out of five storm, but that's getting built now. In terms of your villages themselves, they have age, they have overall happiness, you see, a good moment, it's uh, mm, like a frown, but um, I don't know how implemented that is, but uh, yeah, you've got overall happiness as well. You've got um, the needs, which can increase, as they increase in their status. So peasants uh, are really not too bothered about uh, you know well they just basically want they want they want basic needs but um, eventually houses will be upgraded and things like that so that's almost built um, what I'll do then is go over to extraction and I will say extraction of those two there and obviously because we've just built that I need to click on people and sign them to a forager so they can start foraging and there we go so. That is now getting built, and people are going to be coming and going and uh, gathering all that sort of stuff. So, what do we need to do now? Well, we need to build a market, and that's where the sort of another one of the differences uh, pops up. So, we go over to Monument. I don't know why it's called Monument, it's very strange. Uh, we go to Market, and we get a lot of these options, and that is because we don't just place one building, we build it essentially, we make the market. So, for example, we want a food store because the objective is to assign a market tender, and we get this here. And we can rotate it around, we hold control and spin it around. And there, well, that white dot is like a snap point. Um, and we can say, right, well, we want to place, say, say this around here, for example. And then um, it means we can build things around it. So we want to place it uh, probably near the berries. So I think there is acceptable. And then we'll say, for example, a green tent over the top. Um, is there a red tent? There is a red tent. That'll be better for the berries. And that's actually much better. So there you go. So we've managed to make that. We can, if we want to, say, place that there and whatnot. But I think we'll snap that together. We'll have some barrels over to uh, maybe this side, like so. That looks okay. We want uh, maybe a bench, perhaps. Maybe a bench in this corner for, for no other reason that we can. Um, like that. Like that, maybe. That's quite good. Maybe another one. Um, bench, maybe, there. Mm, that doesn't look too bad. There we go. That's okay. Um, and then we'll probably want a, a food stall sign, which we'll place, I think, there. Do we want to place it there? No. Maybe. Mm, see, because of the slope, it doesn't look very good down there. That's okay. I mean, in the wind, it'll swing and hit someone on the heads on the bench, but um, eh, that'll do us. So you can see it's got a total cost. It uh, requires uh, an upfront cost of 50. We'll increase our splendor, which is good, and um, in labor. Um, and also, you can see we've got our oh, five cloth as well, which we don't have. So let's start the construction of that, and then that is basically ordered, so they'll crack on with it. All of the ancillary stuff has been placed automatically, uh, but the other stuff will be built uh, like that, as you can see. So we have this being, uh, the stone being cut there. We've got all of the goods being shifted from there. You can assign uh, villages to these uh, independently if you do so desire, but if you just basically click on them and assign them to a job, then that's just as good. Um, you can only have one job on them. Um, at least that's what i found so far. I don't know if um, high-level ones you can't or not, but uh, so far, just the one job. Um, so if you want to switch them between the other ones, then you can. They do level up in that, so there's a reason to keep them on the same job. So we're going to put up to max speed and let this uh, just crack on there. And you can see it is slowly placing in... The, uh, the uprights, and then it'll place some of the other stuff as well. So that's pretty good. You can see all this being foraged is fine. Looks like we're waiting on... Uh, we do need some cloth, but you see resources.woolen underscore cloth, so I don't think that's implemented. There's a couple of things like that, like for example, if you go over to build walls, yeah. <laughs> uh, wall and start config, no walls unlocked. You can unlock them, uh, it's in here. Um, and you see it's in there, look. Um, oh no, my mistake, is it in here? There you go, yeah, wooden keep, wooden wall, and uh, unlock large stone wall. So that'll be done in but a moment, and there we go, it is now done. So we need to assign someone to... Uh, to work in there. So what we'll do, we'll bring it back down to just normal speed. 
There we go. And they're a forager, they're a builder. We'll put them on market tender instead. And then we'll set this to in the slot one of berries. And then basically that's allowing them to um, it just sells goods. So, that is set up. Excellent. Now what? Well, we probably need some housing. Um, and I think we'll do that. Uh, it also says unlock a trade route. But uh, what do we need to unlock first? Well, we haven't got a warehouse. We have got a... Oh, we, ha we haven't got a warehouse. Um, we have got a stone cut camp. We've got gathering, lumber camp. We haven't got a sawmill. So this is another intermediary product. What I'll do is I'll place this... On the road near the sawmill, uh, near the um, the hut here. So the the, the gather resources here, and they'll go down. You can see that all of this has been removed. Um, so they are chopping away at those trees quite nicely. We will have people turn up at our place as well. Um, we've got immigration in five days, and we also now have because of. Uh, reasons. Yeah. Oh, we've reached a new level of surf. The kingdom is recognizing your efforts in establishing a settlement. Thank you very much. So, I am but your humble servant. So, we have plus four in both uh, labor and kingdom, and that allows us to um, eventually unlock these once we reach a certain point. But what we need to do first is place some residential. So, this is, as you might expect, it's basically a housing area. So, we'll just paint all this on. Reminds me very much of um, city skylines in the sort of painting way. And there we go. And this will basically tell them to... Oh, actually, we need to cancel that. Uh, we'll remove that there, actually. Because, obviously, they are building that place around there. So that should be okay for housing. And they will take upon themselves to go and build them houses as they see fit in the area that we have designated. The houses won't be necessarily permanent because um, they will be upgraded as the villages require more. And that increases the desirability of things as well. So that is getting there. Um, this produces planks in exchange for image three uh, wood no <laughs> and we do need some uh, stone how much stone do we have um, we have a total of 14 stone so that should be okay ah there we go we can see that um, one of the villages here the forager is actually went and stood in the middle of there um, which is strange because they should be oh, waiting for a builder ah um, I'm guessing are there William yes William's actually standing in the middle of what is going to be his house <laughs> you can see there's William and Claude that um, uh, in that house and uh, you can see there's more people going over to this one here that's Mary and Victoria they're living over there we've got these um, like fences that are popping up and let's like, say the builders will come along and uh, do just that it's saying well, one villager lacking space for housing, it will build over here at some point. So I'm not too worried about that. I'm just waiting for the other stuff to crack on. Uh, I'm going to change this forager over to a um, to a builder uh, and see if they can crack on with that. So these require a total of 10 wood and we have uh, 36 wood. So that's no problem whatsoever. You can see the thing on the back there. Um, that's, the, that's just a visual representation of what they're collecting. Which in this case is um, green blur. <laughs> <laughs> I did change them over. There we go. It takes a little while, but uh, they switch over. Um, the well, you can see there's a lot of people that can work on that. That's just, they'll take care of their own needs. Provides water to the villages. That's fine. So we've got that building there and that building there. Eventually, it will build on the other ones. It will happily just clear the land if it needs to. So, yeah. Don't need to worry too much about that. Like I said, the painting stuff reminds me of Skylines. I mean, if, if, it was, if, we're, if we're using... Um, direct comparisons which I don't normally like to do but um, I guess a mix between it's taking some things from like skylines um, and banished basically is how, how it feels as a very very early uh, impression I think what I'm gonna do is draw this a little bit bigger so they can get some more housing because I think they might be able to fit one in there but we'll see we'll see well that's a bit too much let's remove that there we go you do have a little bit of leeway when you're placing this, although, see that there? <laughs> it's going right up that slope. We might have a bit of prob a bit of, bit of an issue there, but we'll see how it goes. So, uh, are they going to crack on with that? Oh, there we go. We now have a sawmill. So, we've got two new villages joining the village, and they will come from a direction and head over here. You can see all this, uh, the boxes of timber for these people who look very surprised. <laughs> some reason um they're gonna crack on and uh, get that build which is good uh, i'm not sure why they're not building around here but uh, we'll see maybe if we just expand the land to residential rather if we expand it like so um you can double paint so you can see we got the blue uh, covering over that it'll only paint and remove what you've selected so i can right click here and it's not going to remove the blue because we haven't set it to that just to clarify 
Um, so unlock trade routes uh, to get to territory. Um, what else can we unlock? Well, nothing at the moment because we haven't got the housing. Uh, once that's up there, when everybody's a uh, surf, we can then, well, once we're at that level, we can um, start unlocking things like the Lord's Mansion and the Fishing Hut and things like that. Although there's no water. Um, so I've never built I've never built one. Um, I don't know how that will work if at all it does Anyway, so they're cracking on there. That's fine. And hey, our first little house So the desirability is average density is one. It's not very good at all, uh, but you can see we now have another um, House that's getting built over here, which is fine. This is good. This is uh, Still set so we're gathering that and then we're selling it and the villages are purchasing that which is good uh, in terms of cash, how much have we got? We have a total of uh, 200, uh, 329 out of 500. One villager is lacking space for living, apparently. Uh, they're set up, set up as stone cutters, but they're not actually cutting any stone, which is interesting. But what we'll do is we'll assign someone, um, assign someone to work in that sawmill, because we will need some planks at some point. There's our second village you can see that we get randomly little uh, little fences and barrels placed about the the area so that's quite good i don't know whether it's um dynamically generated or there's like just a template of say four or five i don't know how it works but you can see that the the uh, the entrance ways are um opening up now with uh, people walking in and through here so that's why the paths are being um, placed there so you can see where people are taking like shortcuts around and things like that. Ah, we have two new villagers. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. We can't click on these until they're right in the centre. Um, and again, we'll probably have to have some more housing. I don't know whether or not we build make all this as housing. I think that's probably the right call. But we'll build it around to say there and then all up the top there. And we should be able to get some, some more housing on that. We'll build around here and then up to about there. In fact, I might even place it. All the way around here and that should be more than enough i would assume and it's near the well and it's near the uh the market as well so that's fine so splendor of village has unlocked new series of unlockables so we can go over and we'll say we'll unlock the uh the manor um and this is another one of those uh monuments which again <laughs> not too sure why uh we've got rustic church market lord's manor and a wooden bridge so we'll go for the manor and we've got a car so we'll place i think we'll place the manor up the top of the hill here so we'll place it uh, like so, I think is fine. And then we can have a door which will go uh, about there. I'm guessing you could just place it like that, but that... <laughs> um, well, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. We'll place that there. Uh, we've got things like a tower which can go on the side, uh, which will... You can see when I'm placing it, um, it's increasing like the maintenance costs and stuff like that. I'm going to place another tower on the left-hand side there, so that's fine. And then what we'll do is we'll have a small treasury on the back like, um, I think we'll have it, do we have it half in or do we have it like that? I think that's better. Although, maybe, um, I don't know, do I want to move it around? I think maybe that way is better for it. Yeah, I think that's a better, better way for it. Right, and we'll start the construction. That's going to take uh, 160 planks. So, it's unlikely that's ever going to be made. But, um, we'll see, well, at least not in this episode anyway. And you can see how much splendor it's going to increase, uh, or the village will be increased by, which is good. Uh, we did have some people turn up, and I don't know where they are, because um, we need to set them to uh, to produce some planks. And I think I will see how they're in this house. There's those two. They've got a job. Those have got jobs. And those have got jobs. Okay, they've all got jobs. You can move or move all these tabs around, by the way. All these windows around. Get rid of all of that. Um, let's go over to our job list. That's a resource panel. There is a list for jobs. Villager list. Uh, stone cutter, stone cutter. Uh, we've got two builders. We've got a wood cutter. Two wood cutters. Where is it? Where's the jobs tab? You've got desirability layers. Shows you what's there. Uh, overall layers for boundaries and things like that. Workplace list. There we go. Um, so we've got two of the stone cutters, no, no one at the sawmill, um, so we're maxed out on the food stall, gathering hut is one of three, um, in terms of stone, what I'll probably do is say, George, you can now be a, actually, uh, yeah, both are about the same, you can now be a carpenter. I don't know if there is a reason to... I don't know if these are connected, so for example, if you move from a stone cutter to a carpenter, 
yes, there's some skills that are similar, but, I mean, you know, a different profession. But if you move from woodcut up to a carpenter, you would think that would be an advancement in profession rather than a complete move over, and I don't know if that's reflected or not. You can see what houses are being uh, placed there. This one is... <laughs> Slightly difficult to get into with it having the door halfway through the roof, but um, hey ho. You can see, uh, oh, look at that, there's got smoke coming out the chimney there. I like the way that that is placed there so you can go up and alter the uh, alter that if you need to. <laughs> Although I think they need that ladder to get into their property, to be fair. So they've dug it right into the land. So yeah, they're going to be building that. Uh, what else have we got in here? We've got a wooden wall, we've got a large stone wall, we've got a wooden keep. I'll go for wooden keep just so I can show you um, more building in there. So we go for a wooden keep and you can see you've got the core, which is there. Um, and you can see you've got, oh hang on, uh, we are allowing you to establish an outpost in your territory, thus be able to participate in military campaigns for your liege, it's privileged, don't forget about it. Um, I will comply with the request, and there you go, so we've got that in there, and you can increase the height of this, see this? Um, that's going to also increase the splendour, but also increase the cost, so there's, <laughs> there's that there, you've also got wooden top. So you can place that obviously on the top, although it's not having any of it for some reason. Um, we'll get, oh there we go, there we go. It's just a bit iffy at times. Um, so that is a fairly decent keep. Uh, you've got doors. Um, you get the idea. We will clear that and we will not build it. <laughs> so we probably want to build a keep and do that. But um, that's the very, very, very basics and a very um, early look and preview of uh, Foundation. I like the more organic way it's uh, done the, the building of the... Like the housing, I, I like that especially. A way you just basically paint down a zone, the crack on. Very much like so, it reminds me of uh, Skylines. Um, you've got uh, the modular buildings, which I again I quite like. It gives you a bit more, a bit more interest in, in actually creating something and making it not just look good, but also alter the effectiveness of it as well. I, I, like things like uh, Planet Coaster, you build something and um, it does have a mechanical effect sometimes, but you know, otherwise, the mechanical effect you can just plonk down say 20 lights and people are like oh yeah it's really good um although it's advanced somewhat since then um but still i like the way that uh you can make something that looks good for either the pleasure of making it look okay and also be you want it to have a mechanical effect and i like the way they've hooked those two up rather than placing a building and you can place other stuff but what's the point you know it just costs my resources to look a bit better uh, when in early game obviously that could be a bit of a premium um, mid to late game, like I say, I can't speak too much on it because I've got, I've got further than this, I've uh, got different tiles and stuff, but, uh, not much, uh, further than, like, like I say, them couple of tiles. Looking forward to see, um, what happens in the long term, uh, the, the I think the tutorial could be improved for what it is anyway, I say a tutorial, it's just, it's giving us, it's telling us what to do, but not necessarily how to do it, but it's not a difficult thing to pick up, I don't think. Um, you know, if you watch up to this point, um, you probably get, like, the basics down, as I said, and, um, you know, enough to, uh, certainly play it. Um, looking forward to seeing how it progresses and what's be going to be added. Uh, probably going to do a follow-up video, or my intention is to do a follow-up video at some point to show you like a much bigger settlement. I would have liked to be able to do that, but um, sadly, alas, did not manage to do so. Um, just for time constraints, really. And uh, also, yeah, I'll probably do a bit of a series on it at some point. I don't know whether that'll be sooner rather than later. I have a feeling just give it a little bit more time to get some of them kinks uh, out and whatnot. But yeah, um, yeah, if you like what you see, then links are in the description so you can check the game out yourself. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.